Hey everyone, it's been a really long time actually, I think nine or ten months since I've uploaded my last video. And uh, as you can see by the title, this is all about my piercings and tattoos. I now have seven tattoos and eight piercings, so let's just get right into it. So my first tattoo that I got was on my 18th birthday, as I said, and it was of my dog that had passed away about a year before, almost a year before. And it meant a lot to me, so I put her face on there and two pops. I chose this spot because it covers up some self-harm scars that I have right here. Um, but the only problem with it is that I discovered later on after it was done that the date is wrong. She died on Thanksgiving of 2014. And this says that she died on the 27th of October, not November. So I plan to go get it, um, the date redone. I have a plan to cover up the date with a black banner, a little tiny black banner, and then go over that with white numbers to make it look like it was meant that way instead of just like the, like it was just messed up and covered up or whatever. So that was my first one. I've had that over a year now. And my second one was for Christmas. They're on my arm, and this one is my the tattoo that I got for Christmas for myself. It's a treble and bass cleft heart, as you can see. Because I'm a very musical person, I really, really like music. Like, it's my life. Um, and this is the queen tattoo. I put it right under. And those are... We... I got... Obviously the musical uh, heart because like I feel music is inside of me and it is everything that I that I do in life. It's literally everything of my life. And the queen and king tattoos that we had gotten were, it was stupid. But you know, we had been together for a little bit, had gotten through a lot of stuff and we didn't break up until May of this year. so. Yeah, we had them for a while before we broke up, and we were together for over a year. Um, but I don't regret it. You know, when people go and get matching tattoos with their spot with their spouses or boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever, you know, I don't believe in regretful tattoos. To be honest, um, all of my tattoos mean something, and they're a part of my life. Some point in time, you know, I got this for a reason and I'll never get them removed or covered up or anything like that. So we got the Queen and King tattoos and I don't regret it. Um, my next tattoo that I got was actually for my ex-boyfriend's birthday. He had gotten his one of tattoos on his arms finished and just like, you know what? It's been a while, it's been since Christmas. Well, it wasn't really that long, it was like a little over a month after I got my last tattoo. Um, but I felt like it was time for one. Um, I had this itch to get a new tattoo. And I'm just like, okay, you know, I'm gonna get one. It wasn't until the next day, but I got the flowers on my arm for the fact of getting more self-harm scars covered up. I didn't get uh, the coloring done until I think July. Yeah, it was around July. But in January, I got all of this done. And it didn't didn't really hurt her on this area, but definitely on the sides where the bone is mostly, mostly up here in this area. But I got those flowers to cover up self-harm scars on my on my arm. And I, in my next tattoo was my first fun slash random tattoo. It didn't really have a lot of meaning. It was a Friday the 13th tattoo. So May 13th, I got uh, my Friday, my first Friday the 13th tattoo. <laughs> and the only reason why I got it was because it's a musical note. So right next to here, it just makes sense. So if I was gonna get a random tattoo, I still wanted it to mean something. And also the reason why I got it was um, 
It was literally one week after my ex-boyfriend and I broke up. So I was feeling a little a little down and I needed some comfort and I needed some tattoo therapy technically if you were gonna call it that. You know, I don't regret it. It was my first uh, random tattoo, so I feel good about it. Uh, my next two tattoos, it was actually the start to my sleeve. Uh, I got it on Friday, October 7th. So it is not even a week old when I'm filming this. So it's on my right arm. There's two parts to it, so there's that and that, and I'll start with this part. So if you ever heard of the band Secrets, this is their latest album cover. If you follow my Instagram page or my fa Facebook page, I went to Warped Tour this summer and I saw them. And so these little, you can't really see them very well, but these little squiggly lines on the outside of the album cover logo are their signatures. And I had this big sign at Warp Tour. It said, my spine is as curvy as the S in Secrets, and I wrote this S, and I also had, you know, had them all sign it, and it was a scoliosis awareness thing. So that's why I did it, and I thought it was really cool. Wording from one of their songs. So I don't really know how to show it, but I guess this is the perfect spot. Um, it says, you're running away from things that matter more than you know. You're chasing a love that could never love you as much as I do. And those lyrics are um, from their song, their acoustic song, Sleep Well Darling. This has been my favorite song since, I think going on like three or four years now. Three, I think three years since I moved to North Dakota. I would just sing it all the time. I even learned it on piano once, but I totally forgot it. <laughs> I'm not just a fan of theirs. I am best friends with them. Um, I also run their face, uh, their Twitter fan page. Um, I'll link that in the description. Uh, if you want to follow it, go for it. It's just up and coming since uh, this summer, so like end of July, early August. So it's, it doesn't have that many followers, but I want to get it to as many followers as I can. So I got this. It's the start to my sleeve. My entire arm is going to be, I call it my music sleeve. So all of my arm is going to be uh, bands, lyrics, uh, signatures, because I've been to so many concerts. I have so many like posters and sheets and all sorts of things that they have signed and all this and so I'm ready to get rid of those or put those into storage and I can just show, show them off on my arm. And so this is a start. I started with Secrets because I've been watching, you know, following them since they opened for Escape the Fate in my hometown. They went on that tour with them. I've met them three times now, and I don't know, they just mean a lot to me, and their music is just so heartwarming and perfect for my life, and that's why I got that on there, and that song, those song lyrics, mean so much to me, especially since I moved here, and it was just, I don't know, it just had so much meaning to my life. Then. Okay, I'm going to continue with uh, my piercings. First to last and pain scale and how hard it was to heal them and all this stuff. So the first uh, piercing that I had gotten were my ears. Obviously that's like every, what every girl starts out with usually if their parents, you know, believe in that. Um, I got my ears done when I was under a year old, I believe, and then for some reason they got infected or something and my mom had to take them out. So my mom took them out and then I got them re-pierced when I was six. I didn't start stretching them until sophomore year of high school and then I got to a, I think it was a four, no it was a two gauge. And then my mom's like, that's too big, you know, take them out. And so I took them out. And I didn't start stretching them again until my 18th birthday because my mom just did not believe that and she's like, your body is mine until you turn 18. And so I started stretching them on my 18th birthday and now I am at a half inch. Who wants to be in this? I'm gonna say hi, this is Kit Kat. She's technically my mom's cat, but I take care of him when she's gone and stuff. Oh, and this is what he does. He Okay, so we're just gonna chill with him for a little bit. Um, and then my next uh, 
piercing that I got was technically my septum. In 2014, like right after I had visited um, California, he's so furry, it's like January, so I did my septum. It took me three tries to get that bugger through and it's crooked. I wonder if you can see. I don't know. Comes out further in the front than it does, but I just wear a retainer in it right now because I'm trying to depict whether or not I want to take it out. But I pierced it twice myself after the first time my mom found out about it and she made me take it out. And that's when I got uh, my nose pierced. And so I got my septum pierced first. Well, technically one, I pierced my ears and then my septum and then my nose and then my septum again. So my septum was second and fourth. It was November of last year, so 2015, I've almost had it a year. I got my, I'm just wearing a retainer in it right now, but I got my forward helix done. And I got this done because I forget. And so after that one, it was my birthday of this year. I turned 19, it was the day before my birthday. I'm just like, you know, I want a piercing. I'm gonna get a freaking piercing. So I went and got my industrial pierced and it is still healing. It's been over a month and it's still healing. So they're both still healing and this one has developed a keloid on the outside. I don't know if you can see it. But um, it developed a keloid on the outside. So I'm dealing with that and it's, you know, it's going away with uh, tea tree oil. I find tea tree oil works super well with keloids, like really, really well. So my septum the first time hurt pretty bad because it was my first piercing that I had ever done myself and it was the only piercing I've ever done myself too. And I wasn't experienced enough and I, it took me three tries and I almost passed out. So go to the piercer guys or shit like that happens. And Get down. And I loved it and I do not regret it. Probably pain scale the first time I did it was an eight. <laughs> It was pretty high up there, but the second time I did it, I iced both sides and I just did it right through and it did not hurt. So first time was an eight, second time was zero. I don't know, you can go look at stretching videos and all that stuff. I um, can't tell you about my industrial or my nose. I can't tell you about my other nose. It literally took like no time at all for it to heal. It didn't develop a keloid or anything. It just healed like within a month of me getting it. Um, my Helix, uh, after I got it, uh, like within a week or two, it developed a keloid on it and that took me to get rid of it. And I don't know why it took me so long to get rid of it. I was doing tea tree oil, I was cleaning it every day, like twice a day, and it just would not go away. But now it's all healed and everything and it's not even been a year and so it's perfectly fine. Healing process probably took about six months. I'd say. Uh, yeah, that's all of my piercings and my tattoos. I hope you guys like them. I'll put all of my uh, social media down in the bottom. If you follow my Facebook page, I posted that I'm going to be doing a updated scoliosis video. So, and or I'll probably be doing the scoliosis video later on, like probably towards the end of the year. Of one of my friends that actually has scoliosis as well and she had surgery when she was 12. She already said yes to doing a video with me, so look forward to that. And also I'll probably be doing a cover soon. Look out for those, follow all my social media, and subscribe and like this video for if you liked it. And I'll see you guys later.